Evening all. <clears throat> it's uh, 20 past 7 on the evening of the 21st of December 2012. Well I've got the Stonehenge this morning. It was great. It was good. Um, there's normally somewhere between 600 to 1,000 people there. This morning there was perhaps five, 6,000. And I got there at 5 a.m. And there was already many people there. The drumming was intense. Um, it was fun watching the security and the police lose the keys to the padlock to let people in at the end of the day, resorting to bolt cutters to, to open the gates. That was, that was interesting to watch. As we got into the stones, it was still dark, just... And the skies did clear. We're having abominable weather in Britain at the moment. Rain upon rain upon rain. But over the solstice, for about 18 hours, the skies did clear. And overhead, I could see Saturn so clearly. Almost orange. And overhead, very far north on, it, on its path of the ecliptic. And then... As I walked up to the stones, I saw this bright light in the sky, bright orange, and I thought, that has simply got to be a helicopter just on the horizon. And as it came up, it got bigger and bigger, and it was Venus, and it was bright red, pulsing, and then as it got a couple of degrees above the horizon, it started to turn orange, and then yellow, gold, and then eventually white. And Venus stayed visible for a good hour, hour and a half. The sun rose. First time a sunrise has been seen in fullness from the winter solstice at Stonehenge for, in my experience, 12 years. And as the sun rose, the clouds came in and the bottom half of the sun was still rising while the top half was being obscured so we could see the middle part of it. And as an omen for 2013, myself and a few people were thinking, ooh, this isn't looking too nice. And then the cloud thinned and the sun rose above that as well. And at the end of the day, we had a perfect sunrise over Stonehenge. There's already footage on the web. It was, there were also many, many thousands of people, including a few friends of mine up at Glastonbury Tour as well. But to see the sunrise over Stonehenge on winter solstice is a magical moment. I'm privileged to have seen it four times in my life now. It's normally snow or rain or fog or cloud or ice. And to see it, not only the sunrise, but to see such a beautiful pattern in the sky with Venus and Saturn so resplendent and Jupiter setting as I left Bath this morning. We're now, now we're in what I call 2013. I have a great cartoon. It's of a Mayan stonemason carving a circular calendar and he's talking to his priest and he's saying hey boss I've only got room on this up to 2012 and the price the priest is going ha that'll screw someone up someday now now it's up to us no more death doom and disaster no more futures of negativity New Year now, let's see what we can make it. Catch you in the next day or so.